Alrighty, so we're gonna try and go for engineer like the fourth time today. It's been very difficult to get a good match. Because most Kerrigans are OP. I mean, if one good guy, if one pro player or like mightily pro player gets Kerrigan, it's pretty much game. Because most of the lobby is not really made of pros. So, like, most of them are gonna feed and then I cannot base alone, but this time we do have Veko, we do have Witch King, who else do we have? And I guess Typok is okay, but, and Starkiller, I know Starkiller, have fun, Starkiller is pre pretty decent. With some of these guys we can definitely make something work. Um, I did one yeah it's out yeah it's out already so we have babaika and this guy that i have no idea who is on kerrigan's team hopefully they are not too good or too bad i want a pretty balanced game look it up on my channel i yeah i did it the video about uh, Brock. As soon as he came out, I can remember that uh, I literally made like two videos after. I guess that very day. Two videos and I speed them up in like two days so that you guys would not get bored of seeing Brock over and over and over again. So they did not go for Glevig. So this is winnable. Alright, and we have 50-50% win chance, kind of. I like how this looks so far, but I need them not to focus me 100% early game, because the last Kerrigan did exactly that, she ignored the other 7 people and she went for 4 of my outposts after I rebuilt like some of them 3 or so times. I don't want that to happen anymore, okay? Please do not focus me. I hope he won't focus me. Also the pros do know which survivors can actually do something in the game and which ones are total noobs so he'll just leave alone the noobs and go for the better ones but here we have a couple good ones so this should not be a problem anymore this should be a smooth game i want a base i want to show you the strength of the audience but the thing is even though the audience are the strongest unit in this whole game because they can even beat songs they have way more dps they are very expensive to get they're like 20 gas each and 2500 minerals yeah they also need upgrades because they only scale well with upgrades so it's difficult to get to them but once you get there it's almost impossible for the enemies to break your base no i'm not sure if that is a good spot buddy that's my outpost Okay, I've got three outposts and now I'm gonna try and uh, go echo, go for income, go for some uh, starports. That'd be nice. Because starports are way more efficient than this. This give two and cost 100 minerals and the other ones give 10. Is that right? Let me look it up. I guess it's 10. The other ones give... Yeah, 10 income and these one give two. As you can see, these are like 20%, no, 25% more efficient, but cost gas. So we need some of those. Also, it's not wrong getting more of these factories, but they don't really scale all that well. DT is trying to get something in here. Okay, then I'm gonna get the starport down here. Even if he finds it, I can fight a way over this terrain and unless he decides to follow my one structure, I will be able to get this out. Yeah, look at the Brock. He's going for some feed from the noobs. This Russian guy who, for some reason, has gotten one pylon for like eight turrets. I'm not sure what you did there, bud, but okay, do your thing. 
Alrighty, let's see what else shall we get. I guess I need uh, to get uh, the very least one factory, one starport, just to be able to wall it in so that links will not patrol this way. Okay, so I'm gonna get one here and then um, a factory right next to it for a full wall so that they don't route here and then just stumble upon my buildings. Come on, come on, come on, finish it, please. Can you? Yes, 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 thanks. That's perfect. And I can also get some widow mines here if we're at it. Five should be enough. As soon as the Zerg get plus one carapace, I'm dead. I mean, I cannot farm with widow mines. So at that point, we need very badly some diamond bags. This is why I'm going so early for income. Because if we don't, then we cannot get diamond bags. Because those are 125 minerals each and they also need upgrades to work. So they're expensive. So we can see which thing is going for some cheeky cheese. Look at this. Over creep. That's risky but okay. You're just pissing off the gar I guess. Hmm, what's here? Yeah, I guess he'll find that. I should move this out. Should move this away like here where it won't be noticed. Okay, so I need something else next to this thing. So my outposts are holding well now. They are not getting focused, which I like. You should be able to get quite a few of these. In the last match we only got one at like minute 15 or so, now it's minute 18 and we already have like, what, 6? No, 5, we have 5 of these. Which is neat, this is pretty freaking neat. Okay, I got them here and then I need a new spot. I want to be diversified so I don't lose them in one spot. Look at Rock, he's just hanging out here. Looking at uh, DT structures. What are you doing, buddy? Come on. Go for them. Did he not see them? He probably didn't see them. Yeah, that might be might be the case. I should get some more of these starports here because this is a nice place that can be walled. Yeah, just like that. Those should hold. And as soon as one of these gets attacked, I should be ready to switch its location yeah minute 9 we have so many of these this is so much better than most of the last games also with this I guess there's an upgrade that increases these things like move speed while they're flying I guess I should look that up I should look over the upgrades and see what do I get because I have Quite a few gas and minerals right now. I'm gonna get these wherever I can. Look at this. I have how many? One, two, three, four. Like four plus spots. Please don't get it. No. I know his anti-air range is very small. For a fact. So he won't be able to smack it very soon. I'm just gonna put it down here. And hope that he does not come back. These SCVs fail, but no problem. We're gonna replace the starports. Now look at this, now my starports do not get found. Or if they do, I can just run away. And let's look over the upgrades. What do we have here? We have Widow Mine Borrow, don't need sight radius of sign vessel. No movement speed of the diamond back. I guess this is neat. HP of the Odin by a thousand. You know what? This is OP. Okay, this is great. We have Science Vessel, Irradiate, and then Movement Speed of Flying Structures. That's pretty neat. I think I'd need that. That's a good one. Movement Speed of Flying Structures. Okay. I'm gonna get some of these like here, and then a couple more. I guess two more here and then I'm gonna start the diamond back production. But where do I start it? I need a nice cozy place to start it. 
I guess we'll get them from like here and then here. We don't have any factories down. I guess we can even get two more. Yeah, and then we'll just move the SAVs away so that they do not draw attention to themselves. Yeah, I can just get plus one plus one now. And then go for some diamondbacks. From all these, we're gonna go five and five. And then these ones will go here and these ones will go here. Also, I need to get away from Brock because I know he is like bot. It's around here. What should I get? I don't think we need uh, the booster because we are not moving our structures very often. Okay, we have five here. We're gonna patrol that way. And then five here, you're gonna go and patrol like, let me see, this way from here to here we don't also need very large uh, patrol paths because then the diamond decks will just split up here here is a good base placement why are all those things going there is he patrolling them on purpose i think he is now i do have enough for a couple odins already two odins yeah, Zagar is already handling my diamond bags. I can heal. Okay, okay. I get it, you can heal. Good job. I'm gonna get some more of these. Because why not? They are dispendable and we have tons of minerals. I'm gonna get some of them here too. Here's gonna be our, our base. Like all this thing. I'm already starting. Yeah, look at this, if my outposts don't get focused, then it's pretty easy to base. Not too hard, not too easy. Minute 16, we are preparing for a base. We need to chrono boost all this, so that we are defended. And then get some diamond backs. And then some Odins, of course. <laughs> Hi, dude. <laughs> I hope you have income for basing. Please don't tell me you're poor. Also, some of this for income. Nice. And I can get finally some Odins. Look at this. Minute 16, two Odins coming up. This has been a clean game so far. Not too shabby. It was like just right. And these guys are farming for even more Odins. Look at this. Oh, oh. He's he's here. No way. He's here. He's already here. You know what? I think we need to switch bases. We need more of these diamond bags. We need uh, more vision. We need more of everything. Is he not coming here? No way. Yeah, that guy left. I think we need to get the HP of the Odin upgrade. Yeah, we do need that. Look at this. With this upgrade, they will have almost 4,000. And with plus 2, they will soon have 4,000. Already. Come on. I want to see you mess with this. With this many Odins. Yeah, look at this base. It's impenetrable already. Unless he gets like... 8 zones or so, or so right now. He won't be able to break the base. And also they get like 50 damage per upgrade and then 500 hit points per upgrade. So they are pretty neat. They are quite unbreakable. Okay, we need to leave this up. Put them back. Such a clean game so far. I love it. Is he still trying to break this? But Serendis is playing uh, risky here. Brock could just come up and uh, spam some Brutas and get rid of her. Uh, Warfield has fallen. This service is not doing 
anything really but he's just there to maybe distract the zerg no one is totally useless everyone is useful here and the dt the dt is uh, not fed or something he's okay come here dt we have odins we've got lots of odins are these patrols here that keep finding my stuff I will need more Odins and more upgrades yeah these guys are still alive look at this now let's see how much the upgrades will affect the Odins 300 damage per attack 3500 hit points I guess I should get some science vessels now to heal up some of the Odins in case they get damaged yeah look at this 350 their raids do play a huge role in these guys stats we need to leave this up come on lift up G why does this get attacked so often I'm gonna switch them up to here already we're gonna get one more Odin to make sure we'll have the Zergs handled and then we're gonna get tons of Diamondbacks to harass their income and stuff like that how strong is a uh, Wrath? I've always wondered how strong is one of these if we look here 30 damage against ground it's decent but it's not too strong yeah it's not very useful it's like okay but that's kind of it. We'll chrono boost this and now uh, we'll just spam diamondbacks. Oh, look at this. So many. We're getting so many diamondbacks. I guess Brock is not trying to find any outer bases to isolate us. Okay, that's what we need. Also, how much supply is one Odin? 10 supplies, so it's the same supply as uh, an Odin or a Sonth. Come on. Let my Odin pass, please. It's it's blocked here. Look at this. It cannot move. Let my Odin move, please. Oh, please, guys. You need to sell these. yes yes okay okay come on i think this is game already yeah what can they really do now they don't really defend here i like to see the late game but yeah i guess they're already losing yeah that's game that was a pretty quick game clean quick game what is that oh there's the anti-armor thing from Brock Brock would still uh, like defend but against this many Odins I don't know I'm just gonna get four more now I have like 200 gas literally no reason not to even chrono boost some of these and we are we are not like plus three yet but we can send the Odins out to their base let's see how they deal with this this is like how many eight Odins will they be able to deal with this look at look at them the strongest units I cannot get them to fight songs but this will probably be um, for a future video because I think this shows how to properly echo with this guy let's see what can really beat 8 Odins if anything I'm just gonna run over their base let's see what do I get here so at max upgrades they will literally be at 800 DPS and 4500 hit points and 7 range look at that there's so much better than like songs oh my god look at look at Zagara's hit points look at it going down 
by every shot of these Odins. But they're gonna send uh, like links to watch my Odins. I guess I'll get the armor plus three now. Yeah, well played. Oh my god, look at this. I can one shot Brutas easily. Game, that's game. Good game, well played.